Hello again, it's great to be with you. I uh, <clears throat> hope you're having a great day today. Uh, we're working our way through Paul's letter to the Philippian church. Today we're going to look at verse, uh, chapter 1, verses 27 through to 29. This is the, the very last part of the first chapter. Paul writes this. He says, Whatever happens next, conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. Then, whether, whether I come and see you or only hear about you in my absence, I will know that you stand firm in the one spirit, striving together as, as one for the faith of the gospel, without being frightened in any way by those who oppose you. This is a sign to them that they will be destroyed, but that you will be saved, and that by God. For it has been granted to you on behalf of Christ not only to believe in him, but also to suffer for him, since you are going through the same struggle you saw I had, and now hear that I still have. <clears throat> now, I, I'm not sure how you feel when things in life aren't going very well, but I'm not, I know that I'm not always at my best uh, when I'm facing challenges. And when I say I'm not at my best, I mean that my behaviour isn't always as Christ-like as perhaps it could be. You can interpret that for yourselves. But think of Jesus. Think about the way that he lived his life. Even when he was suffering the most... Uh, uh, unspeakable things on the cross. He was kind and compassionate. He was filled with grace and mercy. He asked God to forgive those who were persecuting him, putting him to death. He ministered to one of the others who was being executed next to him. He thought about his mother's care and those who'd been closest to him. For Jesus and for Paul, it was never about them. It was always about other people. It was always about love and grace and not about personal welfare or, or personal gain. If we're like that, then we're hitting the mark, or at least somewhere near the mark. Love and an attitude of love doesn't crumble under the weight of suffering in whatever form that might come. If anything, it grows stronger and deeper because we stand in it with the one who endured the most for us. We stand in it with the one who not only endured death on the cross, but also endured hell for three days before his resurrection. We will never have to do that. If you're challenged by that, and you should know that I am too, then understand that that's what being a follower of Christ is about. It's, it's about living a constant challenge to attain to a higher standard of living, a higher standard of being even when things are hard. And it's not easy. It's never been easy. Jesus told us it wasn't going to be easy. That's why he said, if you want to follow me, take up your cross and walk. Let's pray. <clears throat> Lord God, would you bless us with the strength to overcome in times of difficulty. Bless us to know you in our times of abundance and even more in our times of suffering and struggle. Strengthen us to live for you in all things and to be witnesses to those who have not yet met you. We ask you, Lord, for this strength in the name of Jesus and for his glory. Amen. Have a great day.